Okay, both feet please, sir. I want to see if it's me or the thing itself or that you're just considered worthy enough to be sat on. Foggy, foggy, foggy. Oh, and uncross your legs because then you give her a well. Uh oh, I think Byron wants to come. ever done this before. This is the first. Oh Byron, do you want to come? Come. Come. Byron, you can come. It's safe. Oh for God. She wanted to be the only one up here. Good girl. Look what's better. You've had a snack? And you've got the fluffy blankie and you've got lawn. That's pretty good, right? You're gonna lie down. Lie down. Yeah, there she goes. Good girl. Good girl. room. I see just enough Byron room. when you pat it, it's true. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Byron, come. Pop, pop. Come. Up, up. Up, up. Letting you. It's a good girl. Up, up. Oh. <laughs> hey, baby. Come Hi. on over here. Come on. Mistake long because you're too long. No one, I'm teasing you. And um, the blanket should be a little bit higher. And then that's often. Oh, there you go. See? Now you've got more room. Bye, Ren. Bye, Ren. Up, up. Good. Girl. Oh my goodness. This is a first. No. Yeah. This is one of my favorite parts of the day. Oh, 
sweet, Byron. Look at you. Who's making those sounds? sounds. That's sounds? Yeah, he's making new noises since Henry's gone. I haven't, I hardly hear him make any noise. He's been, he's been vocalizing every night. I asked because it was an unfamiliar meow. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? So Very. So he probably misses Henry the most. So I'm see? Yeah. Even though they never slept together, they never groomed like he does with Byron. Right. Um You yeah, I know you're making your little new noises. I know. Oh they're so happy. Good girl. Ooh, can you, will you caught? She'll circle around until <laughs> Her foot was caught. Her oh. paw was caught. Because oh. Foggy was lying on it. Oh no. It's because you need an nail trim and you won't let me give you one. Yeah. <coughs> Let's see what Pixie's got to say about this. I'm going to try and sit next to her if she'll let me. There's no need to be defensive. So yeah, Soames has been making those noises. If you, oh yeah, this is, okay, this is great for Byron. She's like, oh good, I've got, I've got the run of you now. Yeah. She likes to be higher up than that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, she was, it, it was all wrong for her, but she still liked it. Yeah, there you go. That's it, she'll stop drooling in a minute. Pix, can I sit next to you? We've never done this before, have we? No. I'm gonna be ever so gentle. Yep. Oh. Mm. It's okay. Pixie. Oh, you're right. There she is. Yeah. She likes the blanket in the corner. And you're getting caught too because your nails are too long. Yeah. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, good girl. Happy girl. Byron. Um, Foggy, where'd you go? Oh, she probably went to get a drink. Byron's happy. when she lets me go under her tummy. Well, you've done that before. I have, you? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she likes to... <coughs> I know, goodness me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone has your place, Foggy. Sorry. But, but Fox ends up normally <coughs> at my feet anyway. Foggy, do you mind? I'm sorry. <coughs> They stepped off her, but this is the cutest thing I've seen. I did wonder if it was just, if it was me or if it was the action and it's clearly, well, someone they're comfortable with. And the thing itself. But they, on a, on a good day, on a lazy day, I can't use the computer clearly when they're doing that mm. unless I'm listening to something and then I can right. just leave it. Um, but they could be like that for hours. Right. Fox, are you, are you going back? Here yeah, you are. Yeah, there she goes. Pixie, don't do that. As if, as if what I have to say is going to make any difference. Okay. Yeah, no stare downs while you're on me. Yeah. Okay? There's plenty of room for everybody. You could all get up here and I'd be just happy. Yeah, now. see? She's so... She's there we go. trying oh, nice. so hard to... to do fewer stare downs and... That was kind of a baby one. And now, 
Pixie's eyes are almost completely yeah, closed. Yeah, she's, so. she's fine. And there's no one that threatens her more than Foggy does, so she's, she's okay. But she's she was doing this before past couple times too. Yeah. yeah. Without being on your knee. But right now yeah. she's got some real comfort going on here. Yeah, and there's no threat on that. Right. Um, nothing bad happens on that. And the only thing that I'm always really gentle with is when I get up I try and do it really slowly. Right. And sometimes Foggy just stays where she is, knowing I'm coming back. Right. Right. But not Byron. How is it up there, Miss Pix? Look at you. She looks really happy. But she came to join you. Yeah. And she wasn't on her high perch. Yeah. She was chair level. It's a couch full of girls. Well, I've noticed that she was more comfortable on the ground now. Yeah. It's... After, after she, Henry. You know, um, she doesn't dart under the uh, sideboard anymore. Hi, I see you. Harry. Harry. No. <laughs> so I should probably just say to the viewing audience out there that now, now that we don't have Henry here, we said that I'd still come over and work with the five remaining cats and just do more socializing and stuff and it's going very well and I had the idea of featuring one cat on a visit and you know Basha could tell their story their rescue story and all that and I could work on them and then it this is probably my second time here we're doing video after Henry mm -hmm. and I figured you know well I come over and anything can happen and it's always different each time oh my and we'll just see what happens yes and that's what we're doing now and so this is something new Harry she's Harry's circling she really Harry Harry really wants to be in on the action, and I've seen that the past few times. Mm -hmm. Harry. So she made a big step today before. Yes. I don't know if we got that on video when she came up to me. I don't think we, we did. Didn't. But. but little um, Byron. Oh, you're you're all relaxed. Good girl. She's. Uh, about as relaxed as she could get. Goodness me. Well, she is, um, I think I told you how old she is. About 14? Um, I'm guessing. Byron? Yeah. You're right. I think so. <clears throat> um, and she was part of the colony of seven black cats and I couldn't tell which was mom and which was dad and how many siblings there actually were because they wouldn't stand still mm -hmm. I could barely count them mm -hmm. and then she had the worst conjunctivitis and the person who was my co-feeder said if you can catch her I will treat her and that's what happened and 
Unfortunately, the person that was treating her conjunctivitis gave her a secondary condition, gave her an eye lesion, um, and so she came to me in a cage because she was feral, and I had to treat her eyes for another, I can't remember, probably three weeks. Uh -huh. And then I, I was going to put her back out um, because the, although she tolerated the eye treatments, the thing about you having your eyes closed is we can't see how beautiful they are. No. Oh, oh what? Sorry. It's okay. Come here. Mm -hmm. Go, go back. Do you want to come back? Go, go. Come on. Go, go. go, maybe, go. It, maybe it's a good time to explain for those who don't know what the ear tipping is about because oh, yeah. that's kind of like on the you yeah. were on the verge of absolutely the... so she was she was i actually have a picture of her in her trap when um my that's it she's decided it's all good um she was spayed by me and um, the ear tip is to mark for other people that may not know that she has been spayed or neutered so she doesn't have to be re-caught and sadly this has been known to happen if cats aren't ear tipped they, they <laughs> will sedate and open up the cat and realise that she's already been done which is a frightful waste of everything right and and it's something that's visible to yes it's a great sign and people say oh that's so cruel it's so painful the thing is it's not painful it's done while they're under anesthesia for spay or neuter or and they uh, or whatever else needs to be done and they seal they use um medical glue to um seal it and it heals while the female space scar is healing, in fact quicker. And uh, for males, um, oh my god, she's so happy, it's even quicker. So her eyes were uh, much better. There was no, to me, visible um, issue so I took her in for a final exam and then decided to let her run around the house out of the cage just to give her some an opportunity to see how she is with other cats. I didn't realise I had a I didn't realise that I had a plan but no one had told me about <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as I let her out of the cage I expected her to, to run under a piece of furniture but instead she ran onto the couch that we're now on and sat next to my oldest cat Valentine long gone and sidled up to him and just sat there looking as happy as anything and she never left I could not I, I've never put out a friendly cat into a managed colony. Um, most of us who who do this volunteer work are constitutionally incapable of doing that. Yeah. We all make mistakes in our rescue work. It's human. Um, but she integrated so fast, and she was so. Um, uh, uh, not aggressive. Um, she was really what is the word I'm looking for? Um, subservient. <laughs> really, really, sort of. Oh, it's okay. I'll I'll eat last. Or yeah, just. She really smartly worked her way into my gang of cats, and I think at that time. She may have been my last intake. 
Yeah, I think she was. Um, and I sadly don't see any of her brothers or sisters anymore. And that's really sad evidence that um, feral, feral cats do not have a great life expectancy out on the streets. And the communal gardens where she was living was built over oh. into luxury apartments. <laughs> of course. Of course. So. Yeah, Byron, you made some good choices there. Yeah, that was because really Because your life expectancy would be much shorter. Mm-hmm. She was just such a sweetheart. She would come and do the... <clears throat> rub her head against my legs. And so when it came to scruffing her and shoving her in a, in a carrier, it was so easy, even though, of course, she flipped out. Right. And... Um, and the big joke with her is that I thought she was a boy until I took her in for an exam. And the veterinarian said, her teeth, oh, this cat's teeth are really rotten. I'd like to take them all out. Will you okay that? And I said, of course. And then they said, by the way, um, you may want to change Lord Byron to Lady Byron. <laughs> Because you're black, and you wouldn't let me look. Not that I would be able to tell anyway. So the teeth were out at how old? Um, she was surprisingly young, and I know that I had her sex wrong for eight years. Oh. So, um, probably far at five. Okay. Eight. Yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. you meant a lot younger. Uh, it may have been younger. Because Dillard had all of his teeth out at two years old. Wow. It, I mean, it happens. Yeah, it happens. And people, I, I do try and tell people not to blame themselves because it is, it is a bit of a crapshoot. As I was told, it, it was a case of the mouth not liking the teeth. Yeah. And it's not something that... Yeah, he had two dentals. He had one with a, f a number of extractions, and then it was really not much long after that that they said, we were just going to take the rest out. Yeah. And he got along just fine. Yeah, she's gr she does great. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that she manages to eat grass. I just cut it a bit shorter for her. Right. And... Well, then when I am giving the chicken treats and... Oh, she she's... manages to get a big piece that I don't mean to give her because I don't want her to uh, to choke on it because oh, she... she can't chew it. But she, she gets it down care. anyway. I know. I, it's it's really amazing. And guess who's under the chair right next to you? Harry. L little miss, I, I would like to be part of this, but I don't know how to be. Wait, what, where is she? Under here? So, um, Harry! Oh, sorry, Byron. That's okay. Harry. Harry. Just under that chair there. And Soames is on, on the bed. In, in Henry's, oh, actually, the last that? of Henry's days. What's she doing? She's, she's licking you. Oh, no. she's doing the head push. Yeah. She loves doing that. I'm actually making a circle with my thumb and index finger and she's just she loves it very content right there oh it's so adorable oh everyone is so quiet so see so yeah every night he's in this room crying almost every night since Henry's been gone, I really wondered what we're, was up. We're so almost three weeks now? It's... Or is it over three it's, weeks? We're getting up to four weeks. Are you happy? Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Happy girl.
Oh yeah, give me happy pause. Yeah. Hi. Shortly after uh, she joined the household, um, partly because she really wouldn't, she would completely flip out if I tried to pick her up, but she doesn't like being picked up. She would when she was on your knee if you tried to lift her a couple of inches which I think you've done before she will allow that but if she feels that she's going she's being put somewhere she's she turns into a squirming little thing and off she goes so there was one time I did that yeah it was just a couple inches to move a couple inches and, and she's so fast. And she was, and she was fine with it. Yeah, she didn't flip. But when the time when I had to take her in <clears throat> uh, for an exam after way too long, um, it took two of us and forty-five minutes. Oh dear. And cornering her with blankets, it was. Stressful. Stressful for everyone. Everybody, yeah. Especially the cat. Yeah. Um, but once she was at the clinic, she was just so sweet and calm. Oh, and really? Oh, that's good. Easy. Yeah, she didn't try and get away. I warned the doctor, said don't put her in an open treatment area. Um, put her in a room. Yeah. Um, so that you're not chasing her under a piece of equipment um, and she was great <clears throat> and we got everything done that here he comes Somsi Soms Soms Somsi Somsi well when like when she was here just now and she's so comfortable and I think Oh, I should easily be able to pick her up and that everything would be fine. Yeah. But I'm not going to try it. Yeah. Yet. I, Yet. I might try it sometime. But. Oh, yeah. I've actually thought, Simsy. I mean, she's not going to bite me. No. <laughs> She'll gum you. Simsy, are you... He just went around the bed and looked under where Henry was lying for... Soms. One of the weeks. Soms, let's talk about Henry. Somesy? He's not there either in his corridor, baby. Somesy? Soms? Some sweetheart? I... You know, I don't want to anthropomorphize. None of them seem to give two hoots, especially Miss, let's get the party favours out. Yeah, well, that's understandable. Somsy! So. Somsy, are you looking for Hen Hen? Because you went round the bed and I don't, I've never seen you do that. And then you looked under the bit where he was lying for a, a couple of weeks when he wasn't feeling so good. Yeah. And then you make that weird howling noise at night. <coughs> I'll record it. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd be interested. Harry? Going back to Byron. Yes. Um, so, medical issues that we're dealing with right now would be um the blood work was declared almost within normal limits there was one except one level was off and we were supposed to bring her back in to just make sure that it was a blip and that it had evened out and that's when henry got really sick right and I talked to the doctor about it and um, she said just do what you need to do for Henry and if 
Byron is exhibiting any adverse signs, bring her in immediately. So she's next on the list. Byron is next on the list to take in. I looked at all their dates and Soames is overdue an annual and Harriet is overdue an annual. Okay. So I've got to... <clears throat> I've got to man up or woman up. <laughs> person uh, up. Yeah, I've got to person up and um. Hi. Hey you. You're all right. You had. You don't have to go in for a second checkup. But someone just went in though. Uh. Oh, sorry. You're right. I did. I. That's it. Right. See, I'm all, I'm all discombobulated. So he <coughs> went in. For, that's right, because as soon as Henry died, I pulled it together and I started on the list right. and started off with Soames because he was the, he was overdue by two months. Right. And he was declared hale and hearty with. Uh, what a year ago would have been declared stage one renal issues, which now under some new protocol are stage two. And I do have to discuss the meaning of that with the doctor, why the corporation that owns the clinic has changed its way of, um, of gauging uh, kidney disease. Yeah. So, um, but uh, I don't have to do anything except <clears throat> for what I was doing before, which is always adding water to their food as uh, as our old favourite used to say, as much as they will let us get away with. Make it a slurry if possible. Right and which which I do and um, and never leaving dry food out which is an absolute big no-no in this house right. and uh, to give him a supplement which I'm doing right. I'm using that one you gave me and then I'm gonna order standard process good yeah um, so what when I had this idea of featuring one cat each when I come over for the next few visits, mm -hmm. I was thinking of starting with Soames first yeah. because I figured, well, he's been at the vet most recently. Well, and we know what's going and on. And we know what's going on. And, and I will help tackle that issue through our sessions. That would be great. But I haven't had a session with him in a while. Well, maybe because I was working on Henry all the time. Sure. And also, Byron's been ready. Yeah. And I've been taking advantage of that, and we see the results of that. Yeah. Dixie, we still got a little ways to go. Yeah. But she'll get there. She and will. And Harry is... Harriet's <laughs> going to take a little longer, but we have signs that she's... Oh, my goodness, we That do. she's breaking through. That, that greeting she gave you today was really yeah. great. Yeah. But it just worked out that... Um, that Byron was uh, was our feature cat today, and maybe we'll do by uh, Soames next. Yeah, time. and Foggy, what are you doing? Readjusting, re Just re resituating little... yourself. Oh, good girl. There okay, go. good girl. A better grooming position. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Good girl. Um, Foggy was uh, <clears throat> diagnosed with uh, renal issues a couple of years ago, so she's had it. For longer than Somsey. Right. Um, and so, in a way, what I have to do for them is, is neck and neck. Yeah. Um, right now, they're the only two with kidney issues. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a double. Ch I'm going to do a triple check on all their records just to make sure. Um, Pixie, 
Do you only have hypothyroidism? <gasps> Show me that little pink belly. Is that bare? Is that bare? Is it bare? Oh, sweetheart. And Pixie was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism when? Mm, quite a few years ago. Mm, yeah, about, would, at about how old? Mm, I would say about three years ago. And she takes her pills really well. And how old was she then? Um, I think probably 11. Okay. Kind of standard. It's standard, usually standard at time. 10 years. Yeah. And that's why it was so unusual when my Dinah yeah. was diagnosed at about 10 months. Good grief. Yeah. 10 months. Okay. So, and under that whole time, she was under the care of Humane Society, which gave her great care, gave Heidi great care. Yeah. And they, so she was on methimazole, which is the medication for hyperthyroidism in cats, and she was on that for her whole life, pretty much. Wow. And um, they claim it may have been one of the reasons that she never got adopted. Oh. It was the fact that, that she was going to have to be medicated twice a day for the rest of her life. <laughs> and she had really bad knees. Poor and they gave her knee surgery on both knees back in 2017. And you'd never know. I mean, she right. unless she felt her knee, her knees were pretty big. Oh, wow. But she got around great. I mean, she just was, she was like, she... Um, ran around the house and played like a two-year-old. She and was amazing. what was it uh, that caused the knee issue? Oh, uh, it, it seemed to have uh, seemed to have been born with it because it was it was there uh, from the beginning. So they claimed that the hyperthyroidism and the need to give medication twice a day and the knees, which would turn into something eventually. Sure. She was that young and already had it. Yeah. That was too much for her people. So Aww. the rest of her litter, all of her siblings got adopted oh, and she poor was baby. She remained there for her whole life until I got her. So she was there for about fourteen years. Oh God, thank God you got her. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, little miss. How are you? She gave you a little peep just to announce. Okay. Oh my gosh. Good girl. Oh, you love bug. I'm touching wood. Thank goodness I don't have to give anything to you daily, little Miss Byron, but touch wood. But she's very food orientated, so I'm sure we'd work something out if necessary. Um, Byron's so happy that your knee wasn't stolen. Yeah. Byron, what do you have uh, to say about that? Hi. Hi. And it's funny because I, when I'm here, um, either working from the couch or from the desk, she never lies there like that. Yeah. So she's... It's lun-based behavior. Look at you, little missy. So, Byron, we have to... Oh yeah, so it was her blood work. It was the white blood cells. And it was, I feel really stupid. The doc did tell me I should just call and find out uh, or just get it um, sent over. But she said if it was X, I would be more worried, but it's not, it's Y. So bring her in in about four to six weeks and we'll see if it's corrected itself. Because We're it's talking about Uva Byron. Yeah. So her blood work was was good except for one tiny thing right. and 
the doc said, I would like this to be lower or higher, I can't remember which. And she said, but don't, don't lose it over it. We can, we'll, we'll see what happens next time. Yeah. Um, and from the way she was talking, it, I don't, I think if anything, I would be adding a supplement, so. Byron, you're eating so well, and your behavior is so great, but we're not going to get fooled by anything. No. Nope. But we have to take little Miss Harry in next, and she is due a dental yeah. so badly. Yeah. I'm, you know, we, that, that has to happen. Yeah. So, Byron, I love you so much, my sweetheart, and we'll get you in as soon as possible. Look at you. You're so happy right now. He's, he's very happy. And we have a word that make... <laughs> I know the word that would make her sit up and suddenly run off. What's that? Begins with C-H... I-C-K-E-N. Oh, yeah. And if I say it in a really sing-songy way, yeah, she... So she gets so excited. But like the grass, yeah. Oh yeah. And she's she's got a tummy full so she does not need to eat again right All now. Right. Yeah. Oh you've got a very paint me like your French cat's pose going on there. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, babies. Well I've done my work. I yeah, mean, you really have. Look at this. I, I mean, I can just work on one and the rest are this just... This is so great. I'm so happy that we thought to do this because it tells me so much. And it. I'm happy that I. that this occurred to me. That they trust you. It's not about me. And, of course, I have absolutely no... I'm... I'm happy about it. Right. Um, I've gained Byron's trust. Oh my gosh, and yes. And we went from a point where she, she didn't even come out the no. first few times I was here. Do you remember you Never were, even saw her. There was, that, there was that one time she came out and then the other time we were sort of bummed out because she was not coming out and now it's every time. Yeah, she came out once and then the next couple of times I didn't see her at all. Yeah. It's like, where, where is she? Because I was hopeful. Yeah. I think I've made some progress and then boom, it was... She was just oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh did that make I'm you sorry up? that I wake you. <laughs> you were so comfortable there. That's so funny. Anyway, but this is this is it, and there's another blanket that's actually. I had to wait for this one to arrive before I dared to put its substitute in the laundry. Um, even though the one that Pixie's on is the summer blanket because it's cotton. Right. Um, but because of Byron's claws, that really hurts when she's happy. Yeah. Because if you, but her claws go through less on this. Right. A uh, foggle, are you awake? Was that a nice little snooze? Well, thank you, Lom, so much. You're welcome. Um, it's, it's so funny seeing somebody else do what is one of my favorite <laughs> right. parts of the day. Right. And and it worked. Yeah. It's not about me. It's about a human that they trust, and well, just you and me. <laughs> and <laughs> Pretty a, much. Yeah. <laughs> and a blanket that they like. Yeah. They do, you you've seen them be weird about textures. Yeah. She won't. She's not gonna sit on anything that's slippy. Yeah. She doesn't like denim. She doesn't like silk. Good girl. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah. Oh, she's so happy. Yeah. You know, years ago, this would have been an absolute miracle. Yeah. Miss... The Havisham High Living... Yeah. On the kitchen counter. I mean, on the kitchen cupboards. Yeah. Madam, and here she is. Yeah, it's so nice to see. Living amongst us. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Okay. Good girl. Alright, All right. let's switch off. There you go. 
What have you got to say? Augie? Anything to say? We're purring, huh? Yeah.